Playing golf. Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Peppa. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Peppa. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Peppa. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. <laughs> Big Crawly Safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? 
He's my stick insect. Okay, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the creepy crawly safari. Will we see big scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now, we arrive at the grass savannah. The home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh, no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry. He can't have got far. Yes! Everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh, dear! Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! 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 Very good. 
good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> <laughs> Now, lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Wow! Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Them, like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies! <laughs> Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> the park. Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack. Yes, the ducks. Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh. Where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Peppa likes talking to ducks. Everyone likes talking to ducks. What a lot of talking. Oh. <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce. <laughs> bounce, bounce. George wants 
minutes ago. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later! Bye, Danny! So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Papa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <laughs> My go. Oh, 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 I did it. Hooray! <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn! You just have to swing like a monkey. Look! Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ooh. You're not swinging, you're walking. Oh, <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go. Oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. <laughs> George wants to go. Oh, George, you are too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has lots of muddy puddles for Pepper and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Pepper loves the park. Everybody loves the park. The lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Pepper to visit the lifeboat. Young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy, Grumpy Rabbit. Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course! Hop aboard! <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes! All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. Then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grampy Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again.
Mmm, I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello? Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good. They've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry. Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grumpy Rabbit is out at sea all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboat. Aye, aye, Captain Dog. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Wait, I said I would never sail again. But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing. You're right. Daddy, pull the lever. This is brilliant. The lifeboat goes very fast. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Hooray! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Lucky Hamper. Pepper and her friends are at play. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct. And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We fill the hamper with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. I like bananas. Wonderful! It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket. And if they are lucky, they win the hamper. Wow! It is home time. Mummy, mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? It's for our playgroup Lucky Hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy. It has to be Troppy Poppycock. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. <coughs> And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've 
got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. Here is the trunk and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the sea. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo ho ho. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow! Nice! It looks amazing! And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Madam Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madam Gazelle loves lucky hampers. Everyone loves lucky hampers. Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <laughs> Can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig! We're just popping out! OK, see you later. Daddy, Peppa and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy? do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Ooh, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long 
will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, how wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. <laughs> 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 <laughs>